Welcome to this section of the course. We are talking about the basics of XMPP. When you first think of XMPP, I want you to have a picture in mind, a picture like this. A network of servers and clients connected to exchange data. We have client devices and uh, server devices. Client devices are things like this, the PC, the phone. It can be other things too, like uh, internet or things, devices like toasters, even your fridge, or it can be some other bots that are connected to exchange data. We have different kind of links in the network. We have wired links here. Uh, the PC is connected to the server through a wired link like uh, broadband or something. And we have wireless links like uh, this 3G network here. Another thing you need to see in this picture is that nodes have addresses. We're going to elaborate more on these addresses later in the course, but you need to have this big picture, a network of devices connected to exchange real-time data. This is what XMPP is all about. So what does XMPP stand for really? It stands for Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. It's a standard or a blueprint that is used to build chat systems. It uses XML, XML is a data format that has one strength, really, which is namespacing. Namespacing allows us to extend XMPP to do things it wasn't originally designed to do. We're going to extend on that, and that covers the extensible part. Uh, the messaging part just means sending messages between devices. I don't think there's more one can say about that, but presence need to be explained. Some part of presence mean online status. Presence can be used to do other things we're going to talk about in the course, but uh, for the basics, just think that it covers online status of users. So XMPP stands for Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. Uh, it is a standard that allows the exchange of data. XMPP uses XML, we just talked about it, and I'd like to elaborate more on that because it's important here. In the picture here, you see two devices, a client here on the left and a server here on the right. And we can see that a client is sending something to the server and the server is sending something back to the client. If you look at it, it is some XML tags. If you don't know XML, you should look it up somewhere, but it's really easy. It's a bunch of tags that have attributes inside of them and we have some uh, XML namespaces here. This is what we just talked about, X, M, L, and S. This is an XML namespace. And uh, just have this picture. XMPP is about exchanging this kind of messages between clients and server. And here we're going to talk about XML client and server stream. When a client connects to a server, some kind of pipe connection is open between the client and the server. And it is through that pipe that messages flow. Here you can see the client is sending something to the server in green and the server is responding back in black. And uh, we keep a log of the things that are sent and received on the client and the server. This kind of file you see here is called a stream file. And it is where we connect to see what is really happening. If you want to see what the client sent, if you want to see what the server responded with, you look at this stream file. And uh, XMPP software usually gives you a way to connect to this stream file and see what is happening. So the most basic thing you can send in XMPP is called a stanza. A stanza is a basic unit of communication in XMPP, as you see here. We have three types of stanzas in XMPP. Uh, the message stanza, uh, which is used to send message. The present stanza, which is used to send online status information. So if you come online, if you go offline, XMPP uses presence to notify your contacts. But presence is also used for something else we call a friendship subscription, if you will. We're going to elaborate more on that later in the course. So we also have an IQ stanza, which is used to apply some settings on the server or on another client or retrieve information. Uh, we're going to elaborate more. So in the next slides, we're going to see some examples of these stanzas. Here you see a message stanza. And just like we said, it is an XML tag. You have 
the name of the tag here and inside the tag we have some attributes we're going to say more on these attributes later and we have a body here this is a message tag when you want to send a message to somebody this is what your xmpp software sends you see a presence stanza here and you see that it has a name also and some attributes and uh, some child element. The IQ stanza is also the same thing. You send it to the server. In this case, we're trying to get some kind of information from the server and the server responds to us using this uh, IQ stanza that it sends to us. We just talked about the basics of XMPP. Where does SMAC come in? SMAC is an implementation of the XMPP protocol for client applications on Java SE compatible JVMs and Android. It is a library really you can use to build chat applications based on XMPP that run on Java enabled devices and Android. It is uh, open source and battle tested. It's been used in many real life projects and we're going to be using it in this course. So now that I've talked about some basics of XMPP, I'd like you to see what other people say about XMPP. So this is a link we have from uh, Prozody. Prozody is uh, an XMPP server, and they try to explain XMPP. So we're going to see what they say so we have uh, a broader overview of what it is. They say XMPP is uh, the extensible messaging protocol. It powers a wide range of applications, including instant messaging, presence, we just talked about presence, multi-party chat, voice and video calls, collaboration, lightweight middleware, client syndication and generalized routing. So you see XMPP is used for a bunch of things. And uh, so they try and explain it to in more uh, English terms. So it's a network protocol. It's a line that is used by machine to communicate with each other. It is based on XML, we just saw that, uh, which allows the protocol to be extended for a, a wide variety of purposes. Uh, XMPP can be extended uh, XMPP is mostly used in instant messaging, but there are many there are many servers on the internet linked up with each other. The network we just talked about on the first slide. Uh, the IM network is also known as Jabber. So you're going to see people refer to XMPP as Jabber. The specification is open for developers. You know, any developer is free to add XMPP support to their software. Anybody can build XMPP applications. This is really what makes it fun. This means there's lots of XMPP enabled software available, much of it free and open source like Prosody. So uh, much of XMPP software is free and we're going to explore more on the software that is available. So unlike the original IAM network, XMPP does not require people People to be using the same instant messaging service to chat with each other. And XMPP allows you to use different XMPP servers that have been built independently, but they can communicate. This is a strength of XMPP we're going to explore more on in uh, upcoming parts of the course. They really explain XMPP in other worlds than we, we did say before. Uh, so we go to this Wikipedia link uh, that talks about XMPP and um, XMPP is a communication protocol for message oriented middleware based on XMPP. It's based on XMPP. It enables the near real time exchange of structured yet extensible data between any two or more networks. So you can see they also emphasize on the extendability of XMPP, which is really its strength. And this extensibility is provided by XML. Uh, this is what you really should keep in mind. So to recap, XMPP stands for Extensible Messaging and Present Protocol. It is, uses a network of devices and servers connected to exchange data. Uh, the most basic thing you can send on XMPP is a stanza, and we have three types of stanzas, the message, the presence, and uh, the IQ. And uh, in this course, we're going to be using Smack as our implementation library to build our chat app. So with this information, I think you're ready for the next part of the course in which we talk about the XMPP architecture. I'll see you there.